We're working with our friends and allies right now. They call him friend. Hussein has got weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has made, uh, has defied the United Nations. Saddam Hussein is uh, providing links to terrorists. Saddam Hussein is a threat to America, and we will deal with him. And uh, this is a chance for the Security Council to show its relevance. And I believe the Security Council will show its relevance. <laughs> We certainly hope it does. There's no doubt he can't stand us. After all, this is the guy that tried to kill my dad at one time. That one brutal, brutal dictator and hatred and violence America will seize every opportunity <laughs> such an opportunity in societies that once bred fascism and militarism, liberty. Well, they were wrong. They are mistaken. He'll say, I'm not going to destroy the rockets, and then he'll have a change of mind this weekend and destroy the rockets and say, I've disarmed. The rockets are just the tip of the iceberg. The only question at hand is total, complete disarmament. دمرت كليات دمرت جسور ودمرت قصور. America has made and kept this kind of commitment before. هل هذا هو ال? After defeating enemies. هذا ال الموضوع لم يظهر في. Yes, it's now time for him to to fully disarm. نحن نأمل ونتمنى أن لا تحصل حرب. You're looking pretty darn good to me, by the way. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And <laughs> Kefetara. We're on the hunt. We got him on the run. Is liberty is God's gift to each and every human being? Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict. No more poison factories. No more torture chambers and rape rooms. Do not destroy oil wells. The will soon be gone.